Hello, today we'll be rescuing some Kerbals from outer space. Yes, so first you need a spaceship that has enough fuel for the task. Now this spaceship has enough fuel to go to the moon and back. But uh, yes, uh, better more than not enough. My first, uh, my bottom stage, solid rocket fuel. My other stages will be uh, liquid fuel uh, rockets, six of them around a main core uh, in asparagus staging. So the most fuel efficient way to go. I actually have a space tourist uh, as well. I'm playing career mode and this tourist is actually paying for half of this mission. So I've agreed to take him or I think her on board. Now what you want to do is line up the first ship to be rescued with that country that looks like Saudi Arabia right there, that beach looking country. And then lift off, yes. What a powerful ship this is. And what a game this is. So now I'll be uh, ditching my solid rockets, here we go, and I just have my liquid fuel for the rest of the mission, which is will be more than enough. Now what I'll do is when I'll be ditching my two first boosters, oh, <laughs> they exploded while going down, but that's okay as long as my main ship is okay. So what I want to do is match the altitude of the ship to be rescued. So I want to go as high as 75,000 meters. Once I reach that uh, altitude, or um, uh, I'll be t uh, <clears throat> turning to the east, firing my rockets. And now what will be happening is uh, that ship to be rescued is a little bit like Usain Bolt. Gravity doesn't affect him, and he will be coming in very, very fast. There we go. There's nothing I can do. I'm trying to match its speed, but I'm just not fast enough. So, to use a metaphor, I'll hop on a road bike, and I'll try to catch up to that Usain Bolt ship. Now I'll be switching to the target itself. It's past me. First step, match its speed. Uh, I have two more liquid fuel fuel boosters, ran out of fuel, ditched them. Now my three main remaining uh, boosters are full of fuel, which will be enough for this whole mission. So now let's play catch up. That ship is still going faster than I am, still going faster. I have to establish my own orbit first and then catch up to it later. Go, still playing catch up. And you'll see now, you can actually see my retrograde vector is um, appearing. So the angles are not right on that ye little yellow symbol on my nav ball. So I want to keep accelerating, keep accelerating until my, I see my prograde vector appear, which is a very similar yellow symbol, but uh, with right angles on it. Okay, keep accelerating until that happens. There we go, now it's there here, okay. So now what you want to do is create an angle, create an encounter with the ship. So with a prograde vector, what you want to do is pull it, pull it towards you. So I'll just put my uh, nav ball uh, cursor 
to the right because I want the prograde vector to follow me to the right and match it right on that purple pink uh, target cursor. Yes, yes, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. So again, keep correcting your course until you create that encounter course. How you create that encounter course? Well, um, if you are going faster than the target, you want the prograde vector to be right on that little, um, that purple target. So I want it to go to the bottom left. So I'm going actually even more to the bottom left. So I'm pulling it, pulling that yellow, yeah, that yellow cursor and putting it right on that target cursor, which will create that encounter in the future. Okay, now I'm actually catching up quite rapidly. And now you have to play the reverse game. Flip your ship around, and now you have to reversely. Uh, it's uh, much different. You were pulling the prograde vector. Now you want to push the retrograde vector uh, onto the target, onto that pink, purple target. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Push it onto it and slowly decelerate as you're doing so. So by the time, calculate that by the time you reach your target, uh, your speed relative to the tar target will be approximately zero. Now this is harder to do, uh, to do it perfectly with uh, liquid fuel uh, but if you have RCS uh, engines or um, uh, later in the game, I don't. I'm only at the beginning at, of uh, career mode. So just, you know, you don't have to do it perfect. Just close, close enough is good enough. Slow myself down to zero or as close to zero as possible. That's it, yeah. Maybe just a little more, yeah. Okay, that will be close enough. Now what I'll be doing is I'll move my captain to the back of the ship because there's only one door to get in. If he's piloting the uh, spaceship, no one can get in. So I'll move him just to the, actually to the middle of the ship. Now my little Kerbin to be rescued, have her jump out in her, uh, his or her, I forget, uh, EVA suit and um, catch up with the ship. And the keys are quite easy, shift to go up, control to go down, W forward, S back, A left, D right. And uh, the problem I'm having here is finding the entry door to my spaceship. I forgot where I put it. It will be coming up quite soon. There we go. So yeah, I'm not a perfect player, but uh, I think I can explain this game quite easily. And it will be a matter of time until you you can play this game much better than I can. Uh, grab that door with uh, F or board it with B. There you go, get close enough. Yeah, you need to practice the uh, EVA uh, flying, EVA suit flying in this game before you get comfortable with it. Okay, move this uh, rescuee in the back, get my, move my pilot back to the front. Uh, yeah, okay, move him, to, uh, move that uh, rescued person to the rear end, move my pilot to the front, and uh, now let's go save our second Kerbin. Now this might be a little difficult, uh, counterintuitive, a little difficult to understand, but actually what I'm doing here is I'm accelerating. So I'll be creating, I'll be going a little bit faster and I'll be creating an orbit that's larger than the orbit of these ships to be rescued. So because my orbit will be uh, a bigger circle, will be larger, it will, be, it will take me a longer time to uh, rotate around the planet once. And therefore the ships to, uh, that are to be rescued, they will orbit the planet much faster and they will catch up to me. And when they ca have caught up to me, that's when I'll be uh, aiming my ship towards them and accelerating at that time. 
So it's catching up, it's catching up. Yes, number two has caught up. Now let's point our ship towards it and accelerate. So, oh, I'm actually committing a small mistake here. Actually, my prograde vector is <laughs> at the top left and I have to pull it towards that uh, pink purple symbol, target symbol to align myself. So I need to go even more uh, to the bottom right. Okay, more so, there we go. And I'll have to pull it towards myself. Go, just accelerate a bit more. Keep pulling it so it's at the top left or it's at the top of my nav ball so I'm actually going way under it pulling it as fast as I can to match that target to match the target encounter with the spaceship there we go with the spaceship to be rescued there we go so then again when you're accelerating when you are going faster than your target what you have to do is pull, pull that prograde vector onto the target. And remember how to switch targets. You can actually click where target is written right over my nav ball and it will go to orbit, it will go to surface. Click again, make sure it's on target so these uh, target nodes will appear on your nav ball. Okay, and then again, of I've actually decelerated a little bit too much, so I want to gain some speed. I still have a long way to go. Pull, pull that prograde vector onto the target. So I'll see that yellow tart, my yellow prograde appearing onto it very soon. Go and then uh, flip my ship around and uh, decelerate slowly towards it as slowly and surely as possible. Now, yes, the pro, uh, the retrograde vector. What you want to do is actually push it. So you're pulling the prograde vector, but you're pushing the retrograde vector onto it. So I'm flipped around and I'm uh, pushing it onto the target. So it's the other way around. When you're uh, going, when you uh, want to decelerate, you're actually pushing. When you want to accelerate, you're actually pulling. There we go. Match the inclination to create an encounter. That's what you want to do. Yes. Okay. And just uh, decelerate slowly until I have a speed of about zero. So this is my second rescue. Okay, close enough. Move my captain pilot to the back. Well, to the middle of the ship. So <laughs> that uh, entry door will be available when this little Kerbin <laughs> reaches my spaceship. Again, if I had RCS control, I could get much closer to the uh, rescued ship, uh, but because I only have liquid fuel engines, uh, this is good enough. Uh, and yes, here we go, get a little closer. And board the ship. Number one done, number two done, and afterwards we'll only have to save a third Kerbal. Again, our uh, keys to fly your, in your EVH suits, uh, the arrows are W actually, S, W for up, S for down, A for left, D for right, control to go down, shift to go up. And practice, yes, this is something that's not easy. 
uh, a trick if ever you want your little kerbal in the EVA suit to point in a particular uh, direction just move your camera with your mouse and then press W the forward key and your kerbin will uh, flip around and uh, look at that uh, direction yes okay move my pilot move that kerbin to the back move my pilot back to the front and let's go save that last kerbin so again same method I'll actually be accelerating to create uh, a larger orbit larger which means um, a bigger circle around the planet therefore even if I'm moving actually faster because the uh, curve is inward for the other uh, spaceship they will catch up with you see there you go now point your ship to that ship accelerate so yes pull pull your prograde vector again onto the target make sure the target is selected and pull that prograde vector see so you can actually see on my screen the target is moving a bit to the right so therefore I have to be pointing to the right and therefore pulling that prograde vector to match um, the ships there we go correcting my course making sure that prograde vector is right on target there we go perfect just correcting my course accelerate but not too much you don't need um, as you're getting closer you don't need to have um, so many hundreds more meters per second than your target so at some point in time if you're far away you can have 200 meters per second more as you're getting closer just 100 meters per second more and then uh, correct your inclination keep correcting your inclination as you go uh, pull that prograde vector as many times as you need onto the target and then when you're getting close enough flip your ship around and scare or push not pull huh? Once you fl uh, flipped around, you're, you need to push the retrograde vector onto the target, so you will be creating an encounter. Go flipping my ship around, and again going lower because I want to push the retrograde vector onto um, uh, an encounter with the target. There we go. And as I get closer, slowly but surely, decelerate closer to zero. While always correcting my inclination so I'm right on top. slight corrections and slowing myself as close to zero as possible as the ship as I and the ship are getting closer and if ever you decelerate too much just flip yourself around again and accelerate until you get closer and turn yourself around again and decelerate as you're getting as you're getting too close yes I'll move my uh, pilot to the back. Now it's time to have this last Kerbin perform an EVA spacewalk <laughs> with the little EVA suit RCS type propulsion and catch up to my spaceship. There you go. And actually, uh, this last Kerbin will be actually piloting the ship back home. I've decided not to have my uh, pilot perform a spacewalk uh, so that he could enter the ship last and therefore be in the pilot's seat. Uh, this 
rescued Corbin can do the job. Now uh, decelerate enough that my periapse is under 70,000 meters. Why? Because when I let go of my boosters, I don't want them to uh, become space junk. So under 70,000 meters, they will sometime in the future re-enter um, the planet's orbit and disintegrate, explode on re-entry. Huh? Keep space clean. Let your boosters de uh, re-enter uh, the atmosphere and blow up. And of course, I'm the best mathematician and physicist, and I've calculated that debris will only hit the ocean, and therefore everyone is safe. Okay, so I will just be decelerating little by little, and I'll actually be entering the atmosphere quite soon. There I am, 65,000 meters, and the atmosphere will slow me down and help me re-enter the atmosphere. Wow, what a beautiful game. So here is a sunrise coming up. As I am slowly re-entering the atmosphere and thinking about landing in the future. Uh-oh, <laughs> we've encountered another problem. I uh, haven't researched solar panels and my battery is out of electricity, so I was spinning around. But I can still produce electricity when my glass engine is turned on. Though this engine is not uh, strong enough to recharge my battery, but it's uh, strong enough to um, help me decelerate slowly, and it's also helping by absorbing uh, most of the heat. So it is... Uh, pointing downwards to the uh, planet and uh, absorbing most of that re-entry heat. One thing I'll do is I will think I'll try to save this uh, whole ship. Uh, I could ditch my last engine and its uh, fuel tank, but uh, why not try to save it and make more money? Recycling is always good. So I'm placing my parachute. There's one parachute, a drogue chute, which will open first because it's more resistant to higher speeds. It won't slow me down as much, but it's more resistant to higher speeds, so that will help a lot. Oh, I'm out of the upper layers of the atmosphere. Now, uh, only wind is hitting me. I'm not burning up anymore. Okay, I'll turn on, uh, open my drogue chute, and it will slow me down enough for my main chutes to open afterwards. Go and uh, I guess I can open my main chutes now. Here we go. Excellent. And slowly go towards the surface. I have only one problem left: is I can't see the terrain. I and I I don't think I have any instruments uh, that can tell me. Uh, where the surface is at, so um, therefore I just have to guess. I would like to turn on my engine to slow down before hitting the surface, but I'm not sure if there's a mountain under me, so I could hit it at any time. I'm, s I'm going slow, but um, I'm still going too fast. I think my engine might explode on impact, but uh, I think my fuel tank should be okay. Let's see what happens. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, my fuel tank, uh, my engine didn't make it, my, but my fuel tank did. Yes, I'll be able to get money for that. Okay, so that's our mission today. So, as always, I recommend try to combine missions as much as possible. Here I had a space tourist, which actually paid for half of the ship. And I've actually rescued not one, but three. Uh, Kerbins in space, and that's something to celebrate. Uh, yes. So let's have a little celebration jump right here. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Jump. Turn off a light. Make sure the rescue helicopters have enough electricity for at least a rescue helicopters to see one set of lights. 
and we're done. Hooray! Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe.